What's going on YouTube? Shaman West Coast Gamers, aka Slip Cali. Major guys, back with Horse Race Manager 2 action. We get right into it. Uh, we need to, we have enough money because of uh, the horse that uh, was with Mare. I mean, not with Mare, with Spugly Eyes. So we need to build an endurance track. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that is the circular track for endurance. So 72,000. Wow, okay. Got to start saddling winners. All right. Um, one of the races, the last two races weren't great. We should have had much better showings in that so spugly eye uh, let's get him registered for another race here soon 1600 meters is our cream but uh, we'll go to slow salamitos or st john's um let's try st john's tougher race which means we may not be the favorite so we won't have that pressure on us sweeter jeets um i don't know if he likes long distance races or not i don't think we've discovered that yet um it's kind of hard to decipher which distance races your horses like the best we're gonna get him in another short race here very soon if we can we'll take him to st john's this is a different st john's race and uh, let's actually get a jockey that's pretty good and see if that makes a significant difference i think that's all we need to do like i said we got a little bit of money to last us but um there's really nothing else to do until then so hopefully you all have been enjoying this series hopefully the gameplay like i said if you want to get this game in the comment section below well, not the comment section the description box below go about acquiring this game let's check our information anything we need to see um yeah the 15th so race day today for sweeter jeets it's a field of 11 gate position 11 so let's look at the rest of the field a couple of 90s sweeter jeets i mean really a decent horse you look at these stats they're not terrible stamina technique need to be better but 86 speed 87 acceleration i mean we're pretty good in, in that regard so we really should have a we, we should be doing a lot better. I don't know what happened in the last race. I don't know why he wanted to run full speed. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, even though there was nobody, I mean, there was room in front of him, he still couldn't even catch the horses in front of him running full speed. So, I don't understand. But even with the stats, maybe it's a, I mean, I don't know what to do. I would say do longer distance races, but that can't be the case because we don't have the stamina for it. So, yeah, I literally have no idea what's going on with that, but hopefully we'll get it figured out here soon. And uh, we'll have a much better showing than what we have previously had. And we'll see how this turns out. Uh, we will see how this turns out. All right. Setting an alarm right quick. Let's go. And, okay, we're already on the inside. So if we get a good start, we should just be able to tuck nose to helmet and uh, go on our way. Hopefully we have a chance. Okay, so good start. Good start. Keep him up with the leader. Great. And if anything, I may even want to try to get outside if I can afford it. But Okay, come on. Keep up with the leaders. Keep up with the leaders. All right, nose to helmet. All right, he's pretty good right now. Solid pace. Solid pace. I want to monitor stamina. We stay like this. Now, if they start moving the pace a little bit, then we're in trouble. But... Solid pace. I don't know how I feel about being blocked in. I may go ahead and move over if I can. Depends what this horse in front of us wants to do. This is the one horse. If he wants to move up, I don't know if the horse uh, was at the three horse. I don't know if he's going to overtake or what. Oh, that's not the three. That's the two. We're pretty good right here, though. We got plenty of room. If I see horses moving up, I'm going to move here so I don't get blocked in because I definitely will get boxed. But this is good. This is good where we're at it. I mean, where we're at. We're going to put the ball down to stamina to preserve. And we should have plenty of stamina to finish this race. So there's a potential we can have a good finish. Okay, now the one horse is moving. Good. Now the two horses. No, that's the three horses. No, that is the two horses. Excuse me. Three horses right next to us. Now the field's starting to move. And we just need to move up with them. We're just going to tuck right here. We're going to move again right here. A little bit of maneuverability. That may have hurt us, but I think we'll be all right. See, this is what I mean. Like, I try to tell him to go faster, and then he goes too fast. I try to tell him to slow down, and he slows down way too much. He just cannot get his stuff together when it comes to, um, you know, going fast or too slow. So, there we go. We got 1,200 meters left. We got stamina to preserve. Now I'm going to go full out and see what we can do. Okay, we're going to put this for maneuverability and wind resistance. So, we got a chance. We're going to stay right here. We got the stamina to run remainder of the race. I don't want to put him under the whip yet. I don't think he could handle it. We're making a move. We're making a move on the outside. Will we catch these horses? Will we catch them? 
Sweet of Jeet showing a heck of a performance. We may get third place. Third place, not bad, considering we were barely down in the long shot. That was a good race. And that's why I said establishing field position is it's, it's really the make it or break it case in, in these winning of these races. If you can't get good field position to keep your horse in a position where you don't have to worry about getting blocked in the stretch, you're not going to win the race even if you're the favorite. But, yeah, good position. We were able to keep them up there. Didn't have to exert too much energy. That's the key. You got the stamina, you can run. Got the stamina, you can run. So uh, started – Fast before drifting back after staying with the field was kept tucked away for too long to have any chance of being first past the post. I don't think so. I could have gotten him going a lot sooner. I just I wanted to place. I wasn't really I mean, going for a win is always the possibility, but realistically speaking, I just didn't want to tire out with stamina like we usually do. And we didn't that time. We didn't. Could have gotten him going a little bit sooner, but I think we would have tired out. So maybe I should have gotten him going earlier, but I'm not disappointed. As a third place finish. It's been a while since Sweeter has even finished in the top three, so I'm definitely very content with that. This horse has got a lot of potential. It's only three years old, both, so I got these horses for a while. So we're going to go ahead and have him do some more work, and we'll have him do, let's keep him in shape. And as far as Spugly Eye is concerned, as far as our training is concerned, we got a race next week, and we will do, we can't even, why can't we do preferences? That's weird. Can't do preferences with this horse anymore. Huh. I don't know what that's about. But as far as training, I guess we'll just have to do work. Work, 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 work. All right. Fast forward a week. See if we got any new information on hand. Nothing new. Race day this week. And we'll go ahead and hit this strong. Speed and acceleration is good for Sweeter. Definitely has potential. If stamina was a lot better, we could win these races and have more speed. Um, Spugly Eye, good acceleration. Everything else actually is kind of crazy. I feel like Sweeter G statistic-wise is a better horse than Spugly Eye. I don't know what the heck makes this horse so much better. I guess it's it's just pedigree and the fact that it's able to finish. I don't know. Maybe we're running against competition. That's not even half as good. But regardless, let's go to race day. And uh, it's a field of 17. We're gate position 14. So in terms of fighting for position, we're going to have to do something about that. We are can compete with this field if the jockey can stay in command. And that's usually the key, man. I just got to get the horse. I mean, I just got to get him in a position to, to run well. We're not the heavy favorites, but we're up there. So we should have a pretty good outing. But I'll bet some money on me just to solo at least, which we are the 15. Um, I'll just bet $500 on that. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's show place. I forgot it's French. Show place is what we're going to try to do. Top three. If we win, that's great. We definitely have the potential to win. But like I said, we got to run a good race, good, uh, good, good field position. In the early going, if we can't get a good field position, the race is going to be lost regardless of how well we run it. But we're not the heavy favorite, so we don't have to put any stress on ourselves to win. And we're tucked into the inside, so this should be good. I'm going to adjust the ball for maneuverability and fatigue. Good start. And let's see how fast this pace, this field is moving. Okay, so we're pretty good here. I'm going to stay right here until I see what the rest of the field does. And they're moving pretty fast. Moving pretty fast. So we're going to have to go ahead and go here. We're actually going to tuck way down to the inside. Get up there. And get up there. Nose to helmet. Okay, let's drop the ball to fatigue. Not great field position. We're kind of tucked in. And the field is moving much faster than I would like it to. But you know what? This this might actually work out a little better. Depending if we can bust a move on the outside and really get going, we might be okay. Yeah, the field's moving. The field is moving. That's what I mean. Now, with this horse for sure, he either goes, he either drops his pace way too slow. And I just got to keep him up there so he's still at least a contender. So this is going to be a tricky one. I don't know how our stamina is going to look. This is what I mean. I feel like, now I think about it, I feel like Sweeter Jeets may be more, his technique is definitely way better, which is why he responds better to the speed increases. And Spugly is exerting a little bit of stamina. Three, three bar, that's not good. I don't know what's up with that. We're going to move outside because we're not going to have any room to do anything from where we currently were. 
And once again, exerting a three bar. This pace is moving really fast. Okay, the distance is pretty much gone, though. So let's get him outside. And let's see if we have a chance. Looks like that horse might break. That horse did break, so we got a chance. We got the stamina, I believe, to make a good run. We got a long way to go to bust this curve, though. A long way to go. Long way to go. Let's see how we finish. Let's see how we finish. I wish I could use the whip, but don't need to. Of course, it caused the horse to break. Okay, stamina is going to come just about down to the end of it. See position. You gotta if you gotta do too much moving, your fatigue is gonna drop. And there we go. Gas. Yeah, so nothing we can really do with that. We were squoze in from the inside, and um, yeah, I mean we were already in the middle of the pack. The pace was very fast. So gosh, the pace sometimes it just rolls with these horses, man. It rolls. Absolutely rolls. Yeah. See what they say. Coming up from the rear of the field, didn't show in the middle stage of the race, never really challenged the winner. Sometimes they give you some more, some positive insight on at least what you can probably try to do. Or obviously it's, it's criticism, but it's criticism in a way that can help you positively discern what you can do. So that wasn't great. I want to put him in one more race just to see if we can get something down. I just feel like we're not really getting the best out of our situation. St. John's the following week. Let's see. And we'll do the best jockey, see if that makes a difference. Let's go to next week. And we'll take it from there. This will be the last race of the day. Hopefully you all are enjoying. Like I said, I just want to... I mean, I definitely don't have anything to even improve these horses' training. So the progress is kind of slow. Field of 12. Let's look at the rest of the field. See a couple of 90, so I'm pretty sure this is a tough field. And like I said... Talented, but needs to be kept in track. His trainer or a very competent could surprise a few people today. Finished strongly despite being overweight. I don't know if that over. I don't know how that. I mean, I know it applies, but I don't know how to fix that overweight issue. And we're coming in as the heavy favorite today. I'm not even gonna bet any things. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're always getting these late numbers. I don't know why. I know in real life, for the most part, I thought it was based off on how early you register for the race. But man, we um. I don't know. We may need to register way, way, way ahead of time to see if that makes a difference. I'm usually registering Spugly Eye in these races like the week before. But we're actually inside now. we got to get a good start. And I just hope that we can move past this field a little bit. That's what I'm really hoping. Okay, good start. Hopefully the, the pace isn't too fast. I really hope it's not. Because that's always what deems how much stamina we're going to burn initially. And, yeah, the pace always seems to be a lot faster. I'm going to get him up. Oh, no, no, no. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, get him up, get him up. I'm going to see if I can slide him in here. There we go. Just slide him in right here with this horse. Just stay nose to helmet with him. This is good field position. Hopefully the field doesn't move too much. We should be good. Yep, all right. That's what I need to do. Establishing that early field position is so crucial. Very crucial. And now the field's starting to move a little bit. And... Horse in front of me, the two is just taking a Sunday stroll. This is why I don't want. Then we get boxed in really bad. Really, really, really bad. There's nothing I can do. We're kind of just stuck where we're at right here. Field's moving fast from the outside. There's not really anything we can do. Okay, can we move? Yeah, we're just we're, we're really stuck here. It's, it can be good for stamina, but like I said, if we get boxed in, it really makes running the race a lot harder for us in the stretch because we just can't get in a position to make anything. If we were good, let the field pass. We probably should have moved a little bit better. There's not much we can really do at this point. I mean, we're, we're kind of stuck where we're at. We have plenty of stamina, though, so we can make a run when necessary, but the two horses really holding us back. Two horses really, really, really holding us back. Like, we're just, we're stuck right now. We are completely boxed. We definitely have the stamina to run, but we are as boxed as box can be. This field has got to move a little bit. This field has got to move. I can't do anything right now. And yeah, we're as boxed as box can be. Okay, but the field's moving. We are literally single file. I can't do a darn thing. Okay, we can move now. But we're still stuck. We're still stuck. Yep. Boxed in. That is the worst. Like, how do they... 
run races like this. <laughs> they just box in and just stay at the same pace. That's why positioning is so key. It's really the most frustrating aspect of this game. But what can we do? That's, that's the main reason we lose our races. We stay well protected, but we never find a way through traffic. That's like the third time that's happened with Spugly. We, got, we can win these races, but we're just not able to find our way through traffic. Being on the inside is good. It keeps your stamina down, but when it comes to trying to find a way uh, in the stretch, it doesn't work out too well. Any guy, anywho, guys, is going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember, if you did, please smash the like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll be back with some more Race Manager action very soon. Appreciate all the support you guys show. That's going to do it. It's okay. West Coast Gamers, okay. So, Cali Sounds, next time, hope you have a great and fantastic day. See ya. Goodbye.